What's up YouTube, my name is Daniel Bender. I'm a freelance filmmaker and photographer here in the Seattle area. Today, we are uh, partnering with Fiotech to introduce our new Fiotech AK4500. This video is not sponsored, but they did send me this to review. Today, I have a few friends with me. We're gonna be setting up their cameras on the Fiotech AK4500 and seeing their first impressions. This gimbal is not out yet. You can buy it in the next week to two weeks. And, uh, but we're just gonna get everybody's first impressions. I've been using it for a week now and absolutely love it. So right now I have my red set up on this and the AK4000 was awesome. It could balance the red, but this new AK4500 has like a two to three pound um, heavier payload capacity and it takes the red like a champ. Like it's super easy. We're gonna be taking a C200 as well as a Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K on it a little bit later. But when you buy this uh, Fiotech AK4500, you get the follow focus motor and I would highly suggest purchasing the bundle that includes this ring. Um, if you get the base package, it comes with just the uh, single handed version, which is awesome. But for just a little bit more, prices aren't out yet, but for just a little bit more, you can get the Fiotech ring, which makes it like a little mini Movi Pro. And it is awesome. You can attach, like you see here, uh, a monitor, you can attach a microphone, and it just makes your shots more steady, more stable, and uh, you're definitely gonna really like it. When you get any one of the packages, it'll come in this foam case similar to like the Ronin S or Zion Crane 3 Lab. And inside, open this up here, so inside you'll see this little monopod attachment. Uh, it's just going to extend it out if you want a little bit more uh, stability or if you want to use it like a jib, you can do that. I think my favorite part about the entire uh, new AK4500 is this. So if you run it in just a single handed mode, then you can use it like an L arm just like on the Zion Crane 3 Lab and do low shots and stuff. It just screws right on. But if you want to use it like this or have a second person use it, or if you just want to like control your gimbal and not touch it, you can actually hook this up wirelessly, which we'll show in a little bit. And just like the Movi Mimic system, you can control it. You can control the entire gimbal with this, so which is pretty cool. You're not going to find that in any gimbal under like six, seven thousand dollars up to the Movi Pro. So uh, let's jump right into this. Let's see what we all think. And uh, yeah, let's go. Hi, my name's Daniel Bender. Um, we're over in the parking garage by Nordstrom on the third floor, and I just wanted to give you guys a call and see if it's okay. We're wanting to film just a quick little video um, for YouTube. Um, we're just stationary by our cars and just wanted to get, um, see if it's okay and get your guys' permission before. Um, um, what would you be getting in the shop? That's what I need to know. Um, just our cars and our cells, but there's there's no there's no logo is there or anything like that. Logo, is there anything in the background? Nope. Okay. That should be fine. It's gonna be a few minutes and you won't get anything. Awesome. Thank and you so much. I'll let you know. Cool, yeah. thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Yeah. All right. Just send. Alright guys, so thank you uh, security for stopping us and then wasting our time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we have the Fiotech AK4500 here, balancing the red. I got my buddy Ed here. I'll put his uh, link to his channel up in the top. But uh, Ed, what's your normal camera rig? So my normal camera rig right now is usually a Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera. And right now it's not fully rigged out, but when I'm doing gimbal work, I'm usually using a Ronin S uh, with like an attachment so I can use a monitor. It's a pretty minimal setup, but uh, yeah, it's a pain because all the weight is distributed on like one side, um, but it gets the job done So that's what I use right now. Yeah, what is your first impressions of the I mean you haven't even touched it yet but Like what are your first impressions of the Fiotech AK4500? Well first it looks sick You can tell it's like very lightweight like carbon fiber, which is awesome and I love like the little like a mini Movi look it's got going on here and so it has a very like Qual high quality look to it and I love how they have the controller built in on the side right here and also having the stands on the bottom is pretty crucial because it might have the ring but being able to obviously mount the gimbal on like a pistol grip but also like a ring setup is super clutch because this is better for weight distribution when you have heavier setups yeah so that's awesome nice uh, first impressions very impressed yeah that's super cool one thing we're gonna be doing today is taking a few different rigs 
and setting them up. But first I want Ed to just take it with the red since it is a heavier camera and just play with it, feel it. And uh, we'll get some test shots and yeah. Oh gosh, this is beast. This is beast. Okay, action. considering how heavy it is it's pretty lightweight honestly I mean you got a red on here a follow focus a monitor and basically external battery power and obviously you can't hold this thing all day but for your shots it's much it's much more lightweight than maybe like a huge massive movie setup or on the bigger side of the gimbals yeah no I dig it this is sweet I'm stoked to try it out with like maybe a smaller camera setup so like Ed said, I really think with a smaller camera, like you can literally take this all day long. I think the C200, which we've tested before with the AK4000, is gonna be a really, really cool build because you don't need a lot of the additional weight that the RED has, like the extra battery and stuff. It's a lot lighter camera and it has built-in autofocus. So I think it's gonna be a really cool setup as well as with the Black Magic. So Another one of my buddies here, Garrett, is here to help us and uh, just give us his impressions on the new Firetech AK4500 gimbal. Right now, the red is still mounted. We're going to be putting his C2 on here shortly. But uh, Garrett, just from holding it, like playing around, what, is, what are your thoughts? Yeah, so the, uh, the 4500 is pretty sweet. It feels like a lot, um, the motors feel a lot stronger. I, I got to play with the uh, 4000 a little bit. And um, yeah, this one just like overall feels like a more solid build. Yeah. Um, Definitely, definitely excited to throw the C200 on it and see how that feels. And, yeah. Nice. Now, I know one thing that we had talked about before with the C200, since it does have autofocus, you don't necessarily need the, yeah. the focus motor. Um, but for other cameras, like, I think it's pretty cool that this does come with it. And it's super easy to use, just like right with your thumb. Yeah, totally. You know? Even with the red, it's like super easy to focus. Um, and like I've DP'd a lot where I've needed to have external focusing, um, even if I was doing it, even with the C200, like where the C200 couldn't like catch on to somebody's face or something. So yeah, super nice to have that um, capability. Nice, yeah. super cool. Well, let's get some shots. Uh, Garrett's gonna take this with the red. We're gonna get some follow shots and tracking shots so you guys can see um, just like how it operates. And after he's used it a bit, then we'll get other cameras on. And uh, yeah.
This is like a thousand times lighter than with the RED on it, obviously, because the C200 is just lighter camera. Um, but you also don't have to have very many accessories, which I love because it has all the facial tracking and everything. Um, but yeah, I mean, I could film film like this literally all day. It uh, super smooth, super light. Um, it's cool to be able to like drop it from here down to here. Yeah, you want to do some running shots? Okay. Just try it out. Yeah, so it feels good, it's solid. I mean, yeah, like, it feels like how a gimbal's supposed to feel, it's keeping it like pretty level. Um, I don't feel like I'm having to like chase it or fight it at all. Um, I would, I, it feels way better than anything like the Ronin S. I mean, to get the C200 on the Ronin S is a huge pain in and of itself. Um, and like, this thing, it was pretty easy. It feels way more solid, so yeah. Stoked about it. Nice. That was actually so sick. Yeah, really? <laughs> yeah, I, like, I was like, oh, this is turning out cool. <laughs> All right, guys, so we just saw some test footage with the C200 from Garrett, my buddy Ed. And uh, one thing I wanted to show you guys is the, um, I believe it's called the Hyperlight from Biotech, similar to like the Mo Movi Mimic. So what you do is once you turn this on, all you have to do is hold this back button and you just move it and it moves the gimbal. So this is really cool for like dual operators or if you literally just want to sit here and like track people, track cars. Um, I'll throw in some footage from 4th of July where I was doing this on the parade. And uh, it's super cool. So if you had someone just like walking that you wanted to track, literally just move it. Move it down, up, all around. Okay, so super cool with the Fiotech Hyperlight is you can control your camera just like this. So just by rotating this, your wrist, wirelessly, I control the camera. So if you're tracking people like I am now, then I can be behind my operator and looking. So as my subject moves, I can control. So this is great if you're working. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> if that doesn't go in the video, I'm going to be so mad. <laughs> so, so, as, so as Ed clearly demonstrated, always have someone watching your back or else you run into poles in parking garages.
very, I like that it's very quick, you know? Like, if I need to, like, do anything or move, super quick, super handy. Like, if I'm doing, like, action of some sort, like basketball or, like, things like that. It's nice because you'll be able to go right to like handheld. So if you need to like run and go right away, you can pick it back up and just go. It's so lightweight because it's all carbon fiber. So I don't have to worry about it hurting my back or anything like that. Yeah, I like it. Sit. So using this for the past hour or so to compare it to the Ronin, First, it's much more lightweight. And as you guys know, the Ronin, even if you're using an external grip or whatever, it just makes it really one side, like heavy on one side, and that kind of starts hurting your back and your shoulders. But with this guy, because it has the ring, it's evenly distributed, like the weight, and it's super comfortable to hold. And I love that it's very responsive. That's one thing that I need the gimbal to do is be very responsive. And another thing is this controller area is so much more intuitive in my opinion than the Ronin S because the follow focus wheel is right here which is much better than the Ronin because it's it's kind of awkward to hold a single-handed gimbal and then have to you know like have the little tiny knob right next to your hand but having it right here and have access to all your controls just makes it much more of a like a pleasant experience um, and also during balancing one thing I really enjoyed that Daniel was showing me was that these have locks on every single axis which is awesome because when your gimbal, when you're, you know, you know, when you're balancing your gimbal, you normally have it all loose and you have to kind of play with it. And it's pretty finicky, but if you could lock each axis individually, you can pretty much focus making sure that one, each axis is balanced properly. So you don't have to worry about it going everywhere when you're, you know, all finished. Once again, thank you FireTech for sending out the AK4500 gimbal for us to try out and test and really get hands on. Uh, if you have any questions, make sure to drop them in the comment section below and uh, make sure to hit that like, subscribe button and the bell to get notified for more information, more content coming out in the future. And uh, we'll see you later guys. Peace.